Hello everyone. I am laying in bed and I just want to share an official revelation that the Lord, that Holy Spirit just gave me. And it's something that I've kind of pondered over the years, but I just got the official word from God. And I'm going to kind of give some context for some credibility. Um, so, let me just start off by giving a little brief education, because I know I've got a lot of new subscribers, and I don't know what people know and what they don't know, but... Let's just recap that the fallen angels had sex with human beings and reproduced. And that is what the Bible speaks of um, regarding the word Nephilim. Nephilim are hybrid between human and fallen angel. That is why God had to flood the earth to kill them off. Because they became giants, there was something in their DNA where they never stopped growing. And um, the spirits from the Nephilim are what we now know today as demons. Um, what the Lord just told me, and this does make sense... Um, What the Lord just told me is that there are people today in this generation, there are people today that have fallen angel Nephilim DNA. And those people cannot be saved. Just as the fallen angels cannot be redeemed because they, they knew, they especially knew better and they still rebelled. But everything with God does come down to DNA. That is something that he has revealed to me and a lot of us over the last year or so. Is that where it says in Genesis... That he made man and woman in his image. Image means DNA. When I was about 17 years old, I actually engaged. Um, I dated a Satanist. And yes, I know how foolish that was, obviously. Um, and what's interesting, what Holy Spirit was just kind of reminding me of, is how that person never allowed me to photograph them. And he said something about how it captures your soul or something along those lines. Now, fast forward in my life to... 2014, I was backsliding, and I went on the dating site, even though I knew I shouldn't be, and there was a guy on the dating site, and in his photograph, I don't know how else to articulate it, but he had a twinkle in his eyes. He had a twinkle. I don't know how better to articulate it. And it just drew me in. And I'm not going to tell the whole story, but long story short, that person was very destructive in my life. He was abusive. Um, but, I mean, he, he destroyed 
everything that I had worked for up until that point in my life. And then right after that person, there was another person. I foolishly went back on the dating site and again, I found another person. And this person had the same twinkle in their eye in their photograph. And so I foolishly engaged that person. And that person ended up abusing me worse than I think anyone else ever has. They almost killed me multiple times. They definitely brought destruction into my life. Um, and so Holy Spirit was just putting all of this together just now. And what Holy Spirit was telling me is that that twinkle, that twinkle that you saw in those two people's photographs that drew you in, you saw the demonic. You saw what they are, that they have fallen angel Nephilim DNA. You know, there's an Aerosmith song. I don't remember which, which song it is, but I know there's a lyric, and it says, he, he, he says something in the song about, you know, the, the twinkle in your eye, you know, and it, there's truth to that. That's what Holy Spirit just told me. There, there's truth to that. Um, demons, the demonic, evil can be very seductive. It can draw you in. And ultimately the point that I want to make is that one of these people, the Lord, has been telling me for years, years to cut ties with this person. And and for years, I have tried to countless times. And yes, I've cut the ungodly soul tie and yada, yada, yada. Um, and at one point, about two years ago, it was, it was autumn of 2019, I had a dream where God scolded me in the dream. And he said to me, close the door, lock it, and turn around. And for those of you who might may not know, repent means to turn around, to go back the way you came, to change your ways, to stop going on the same path. Close the door, lock it, and turn around. And the way that God told me this was in a very scolding, like a very firm, scolding tone of voice. Like he, God raised his voice at me in a very disciplinary, scolding fashion. But I get it now. And so I just wanted to share this revelation, to share this insight. If the Lord has been telling you to cut someone off, it may be because that person may have fallen angel Nephilim DNA. That person and, 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 and if that's the case, then that person will never truly be saved. And now that we're in the tribulation, with all the evil technology and yada yada that's going on and will be going on, that person could very much be a danger, a risk for you and for others. And I've already seen what these people can do in someone's life when I wasn't, you know, when, when, when we weren't in the tribulation. 
just the absolute abuse and destruction that they bring. Never mind pain and heartbreak and heartache and 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 just and confusion and depression and you know. Um So I just wanted to share this for your benefit, for your edification. The Lord just confirmed to me what I've always kind of wondered in the back of my head. But yes, there are people who have DNA that is not in the image of God. They'll never be saved. And in the tribulation, they could turn out to be, I, I don't even know, just monstrosities of danger, unimaginable danger. They could bring such demise and danger and destruction and abuse and pain and agony. So again, if the Lord has told you to cut someone off, it is for your own sake. It is for your own benefit. It is for your own safety. The tentacles of the enemy are very far reaching. And it's very it's very easy to deceive yourself that, oh, I've got it under control. Well, if I just do this or if I just don't do that, Everything will be fine. You know, I can I can keep this person at a certain distance. I can keep this door open. I'm here to tell you from personal experience. You couldn't even imagine. The destruction, the demise, the pain. And how far reaching in your life and how many aspects of your life it could be. You have no clue. So, I don't know what else to say, but take it to the Lord, pray about it, ask Jesus about it. But that is the revelation that the Lord just gave me. And to this person, if you're out there listening... Because of this official revelation, I want you to know that I am permanently closing the door, locking it, and turning around. You will not be hearing from me again, and I ask that you please do not contact me again. And whatever you decide to do is your free will decision. But I need to heed... the. God, and I now have a full comprehension as to why I need to heed God. And I'm sorry, but it is what it is. To the rest of you, again, please pray about this. Ask Jesus about it. I bless you all in Jesus' name.